we're back in the garage. I got Taylor with me this time. We are working on the uh, 2005 Pontiac Vibe, turning it into a the Suzuki Escudo from uh, Gran Turismo on PlayStation 2. So last time we got these wheels mounted up, they're just steel wheels with adapters flipped around and these awesome ATV tires. Uh, and we basically cut the exhaust off. So it sounds like a rally car. Now we need to make it look like a rally car, which what we're doing here. We've got a couple paint samples here. Uh, I think we're going with this deeper red on the, here on the bottom, but now we got to start uh, ripping stuff off. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna start taking off all the plastic bits and everything we're gonna be redoing uh, to make these tires fit and to make it look like it came straight out of the early 2000s. Uh, Gran Turismo game. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna try not to completely destroy these plastics because I think I'm gonna end up using some of them later, but um, not surprisingly easy. Oh, here's a little safety tip. Whew. Once you get on the lift before you get off too high, get a little wiggle test to make sure it's not gonna fall off. So the next bit, we're just gonna make sure we can clear and actually turn this thing so you can see that the back of this tire is rubbing the fender, so we're gonna start snipping. The inner side of the fender, hopefully don't get into the pinch wheel uh, so we can uh, clear these suckers. Tate Morgan said, OSHA, I'm not gonna wear ear protection, eye protection, and I don't care if the saw blade is still moving and it comes towards my body. Like flew up and whacked me in the middle of the forehead. Aww. And um, actually, it's a funny story. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got like preliminarily cut. I think we should actually get on the ground and go drive it to see where our major rubbing areas are um, so we can get to build them. Uh, it's sweet. It's uh, got some tires on it that are bigger than the stock ones. Are you saying Alice swapped or what? Yeah, man. I put the 350 in there, the crate Chevy, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, with the blown header, a uh, blown header yeah. thing. Yeah, blown header. You know. <laughs> All right, am I right? Uh, can we get in, in your shop down here? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, trust oh. us. Settles the matter. This is good. <laughs> One man's you trash. Don't have any, like, you don't have any of those, uh, the, the torches or something? I got these. Well, how much cutting do you need? I'll just go get some. This is hell. Yeah. Hey, dog! Sure. Good, thanks. <laughs> I think you're in trouble. First 
time I've driven a loud vehicle in, in probably six months. To be honest, I don't, I don't see, you know, uh, a test drive as being an endemic problem. So you did get in trouble. I'm getting in trouble. <laughs> I'm an adult. <laughs> All right. So what did we learn, Taylor? that the proper way to resolve conflict is by not apologizing too much, but not telling them off. Okay. That's also true. I was talking about the car, though. <laughs> More than about the rally car. Let's get in the background. Uh, we still, do we, are we still rubbing? Still rubbing. We got some more trimming to do. Yeah. There was something foreign in my burrito. I didn't know what it was. It didn't look like a bean or a piece of rice. And I ate it. It didn't taste like one either. It had a really odd texture. So now I'm second guessing my choice to buy a bulk burrito. No, yeah, but there's no meat products in this. <laughs> That's my theory on burritos. As long as it's just bean and cheese or rice, then you really can't go wrong except for the that random thing that's in there. So maybe, maybe you're right. And I'm wrong. All right, let's trim some benders. Uh, so basically, there's probably a right way to do this, and this isn't it. But we're just gonna cut this, bend these tabs up. We're gonna use these to mount the ABS uh, benders on them. So here we go. Safety first. Alright, so we've got the tabs all fabbed up and we're just forming the ABS to these uh, fancy little tabs. We start uh, getting our uh, JD welded on. I got some of the quick weld because we kind of just want, want this to hold it in place. So we're going to use some of the quick weld that sets up in like six minutes and it should be good to go. Um, and then we'll come in with, the, with, with the, the more permanent stuff. But we just want to get this fender stuck in place and we're going to use the cool little syringe guy. But I'm going to put some gloves on. Um, so we heated it up on our side and we noticed the quick weld got a little like runny. So now we're using the plastic bond because we're bonding the ABS plastic to the plastic fenders. Uh, but one thing that we did not do was use the little handy dandy mixer thing and I think that was a gross oversight. So now we're using that. Yet. So we're basically trying to, to create this bond where the plastics meet the plastic. So we're using the plastic. I'm gonna see this. I like, I like how it's less uh, runny. Mm -hmm. It's actually staying. Maybe we zonk the other side too. Mm -hmm. We're like real crass. We're going to, we got this gap right here. We're going to take it and we're going to fill it full of tissue. <laughs> uh, and we're going to fill it with steel stick. And Taylor's going to use steel stick, so we're going to go over here and mix it up. You see, it's got basically the steel and then the activator. It's it together and it hardens uh, I think I don't know 24 hours to, so now you just start swishing together like female epoxy putty okay Taylor's got her three real mixed up and now she's gonna uh, fill, start filling this gap so I just pull pieces off I and start just in there. juicing in there it's like rocket science and that's the nice thing about uh, not doing something that no one's ever done before is that you really don't need a right or wrong way to do it so it's probably a wrong way so it's probably a wrong way I'll put I'll put all my steel stuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're getting the final coat. We ended up using two sticks of steel stick uh, on the top and bottom here, and really cement this jobber on. And then uh, I think we'll take the, the fiber weld, um, fiberglass tape, and then put it over that. And then we're gonna skim the whole thing with. Straight up JB weld. All right, we're using the fiber weld. Um, we're soaking it in water, and we're gonna go lay it over the seam. So it says to soak it in fire. It's actually it shows it all rolled up when you soak it, but it doesn't matter. Just get it wet. <laughs> Should I, hey, give me that look again. <laughs> Glaze. 
here. Yeah, One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's get it. Okay. Let's get it. like carbon fiber. Look at this. All right, well, I have made a, basically a cardboard template for our side piece that's going on this side of the fender. Taylor's been on the other side. Harder work. Applying the fiber weld. So we get the plastic bottom there. It's setting up really nicely. And then you get the black fiber weld, which is just so cool. And uh, we're, we're already seeing a ton of rigidity in this setup already. So I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> as if some major car customizers start utilizing our methods. Seems sweet. Oh, and then I'm transferring this, this template I made onto the piece of ABS here so I can make the little side skirt for the fender. Okay, I have the outside of the fender just barely stuck up there. I used some steel stick to bond the edge here. And then I'm a real big fan of this uh, plastic bonder. So we're gonna use this on the inside and the outside of this seam before we come in and hit it with another layer of the fiber weld. Hello, audience. Uh, all right, so me and Taylor. Taylor's the fiber fix uh, aficionado, aficionado. <laughs> Uh, and so we've got the outside outer skin skinned, uh, we've got the steel stick in there, we've got the fiber fix on there, we've got the plastic weld on there, now we're going to take the JB weld and basically just like skim this whole thing. So what I'm trying to do is, is get a positive connection to the body and then integrate that into this fender and make it as absolutely strong as possible, um, which we're already, we're already like feeling pretty good. It's not even, everything's not even set yet. So I'm stoked. I have this weird dream that like, uh, uh, of, uh, being able to stand on this, maybe Taylor stand on. I just mixed up the most TV world I've ever seen. Oh, baby. It's all good stuff when it comes from JB Weld. JB Weld. Uh, are we gonna be hot? <laughs> hot. Uh, all right. Uh, I want to say the first thing, Taylor, and thank you JB Weld because uh, today was awesome. We learned a lot about uh, how to use their family of products to. Put together whatever this is, uh, but it looks dope. I'm really excited about it. I think, uh, I think you did a good job. It's very much in the essence of uh, Gambler and JB Weld, right? It's just kind of using products that you have available. So we're doing this to showcase uh, how durable the the JB Weld stuff is. Not really necessarily advocated. This is the proper way to build a body kit. We just thought this was fun and funny and JB Weld was down with it and uh, and so far I'm stoked. So anyway, stay tuned. Next episode, we're gonna jump into the back and then uh, we have the, also we have for probably episode four, we'll have that giant preposterous stupid wing and then we'll be painting it and do all sorts of fun stuff with the stickers and stuff. So see you next time. Taylor, you gotta turn, you gotta learn how to selfie. <laughs> and you gotta sign out. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>